Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. and welcome to Edinburgh Waverley Station. Now, this side is platform four and there should be a train sitting on here now that takes me to Preston Pans. Unfortunately, they cancelled the 0713. So, I can't get to Preston Pans, which was gonna be two of the stations I was doing today, Preston Pans and Wallyford. Now, one might have to come off, or they both have to come off even. Then we're gonna to go to Gore Bridge on the Borders Railway. Then we go to places like Falkirk High. In fact, I've got the list on me actually. I'm not repaired actually this one because I'm actually a bit annoyed that the cats of the Preston Pads to train. I was actually looking forward. I was looking forward to going to Preston Pads. I always love that place. So what we got? So we're going to Preston Pads. We're going to Wallyford. They might have to be both scrapped now. Um, go to Gorebridge, go down Many, go to Falkirk High, go to Partick, Gower Hill, uh, go to Stirling possibly on HST but we're just going up there for the ride and then we're going to do the 2105 Glasgow to Edinburgh, that goes by the Edinburgh Suburban Line. So I'm going to find out what we're going to do now because there's no trade Preston pans.
I'm still at way for this station. Now, the harsh reality is, and this is the very harsh reality is, that Preston Pants and Wallyford are both off. I can't get there to film the trains. Which is unfortunate, I'm afraid, but it's one of those things. However, because the next train is actually not till... I'm waiting for that Glasgow to Edinburgh service, which gets to Preston Pants at 8.48 which are basically like over an hour later into Preston Pads and by the time I'm there, it's time to come back so I get to Bridge. So, what we're going to try to do now is we're going to try to get to Musselburgh. We can still do Musselburgh, but it's the same train going up to Musselburgh on it's the same train going to come back on. Even though my ticket is Preston Pads, but I think it can be done. Go to Musselburgh. I film six trains and come back. And then I'll be on right on track with Gorebridge. Unfortunately, it's one of those things I'm afraid. Disappointed, but can't really help it. Not the ideal place I wanted to be today, but unfortunately, with the plan, I had to alternate it. We're at Musselburgh. 
Now I was planning to do Wallyford and Preston pads because of the freight that was passing through there. But unfortunately that's not the case because they cancelled the train. The next train was actually um, eight, it was like an hour, 20 minutes from the time they cancelled my train. So by the time I got to Preston Pans, it wasn't really worth doing Preston Pans because they would have missed Gorebridge or my plan would have been delayed. So we're at Musselburgh, like I mentioned. It was the best that I could do. We're going to get six trays through here. We got uh, three already. The one I left, which is the one I'm waiting for to come back. Um, we've got a East London North Eastern Railway 91 through here. And we've got a North Bank from Glasgow through here. Just waiting for two more trains. And then hopefully it should be my train that I've got off on coming back to Edinburgh. There might be another one or two waiting because it did get to North Bank a bit late so it may leave late and have to wait for other trains to pass. If it does, good. If it doesn't, fair enough, that's life. So we're here till 9.10 and then I'm going to get the train back to Waverley. I was chasing the three, three bag train.
sweet bank. After um, running from my train I arrived at Edinburgh Waverley from Musselburgh to the Tweed Bank train which I had to get there in three minutes, go over a footbridge, go through um, people that were checking tickets as well, managed to catch the train I wanted to catch. But we're at Gorebridge now, so excuse if I feel a bit out of breath because that's why I was running to catch that train. But anyway, we're back on track now, hopefully, hopefully. I don't see any more um, cancellations or anything like that today. But um, yeah, so we're on the Borders Railway. Used to be the Waverley route. I'm going to be here for just over an hour filming trains. Well, arriving and departing from the same platform because it's a branch line, it's a single track. But uh, I think a bit further down there is a loop. But that way it takes you to Tweed Bank. And this way up here takes you to New Craig Hall and on to Edinburgh. So I'm going to have a look around while I've got some time to kill and carry on filming some more trades that arrive here. Service to Edinburgh Waverley, calling at Newton Gray.
now at uh, Dalmady Station. Now, this is one of my favourites on the Five Circle because, um, well, I'll actually show you in a bit because I'm just walking to it now. But um, this is the southern end of the Fourth Rail Bridge. There's actually a train coming off the Fourth Rail Bridge, so I'm going to film that in a second. But, um, yeah, I always like getting good shots of coming, them coming off the Fourth Rail Bridge at Down May. North Queen's Ferry is good as well, but Down May I think is a bit more better than North Queen's Ferry. But to be honest, they're both the same. Anyway, I did also see um, 60163 Tornado this morning while I was on the train coming back from Gorebridge. Sadly, no photos. Anyway, there's a train just about to come in now. Or should I say passing through? Anyway, we're here for an hour and then we're going to get our train back to Edinburgh. I'm now in the uh, waiting room at Dalmady because we're just about to leave in about 10 minutes to get a train to Haymarket. Now, after Haymarket, 
uh, we are going to Falkirk High, but then we're going towards Glasgow. So we're not going to touch Edinburgh now till 10 o'clock tonight. So we're going to do a few things in the Glasgow area. Hopefully get HST up to Stirling. And then go back ready for the 2105 that goes by the Edinburgh Spurvin line. <laughs>
And now we're in a waiting room at Falkirk High. Now, last time I was here, we had all different kinds of electric multiple units from 365s, 380s, and 385. Now, Falkirk High is all 385s throughout. The 380s have come off this route, but they do do the Glasgow Queen Street to Edinburgh Amy by uh, Falkirk Grayson temporarily. And the 365s are going to be withdrawn this week. But we also noticed um, one of the other stations yesterday, Camelot, I think it was. Me and Jordan wondered can you get a ticket from Falkirk High, which is here, to Falkirk Grayson, which is down there, which is a 17 minute walk. Now, let's um, give it a test. In fact, I'll do it like this actually. Here we go. So we touch it. Um, a to Z destination finder. So go Falkirk. Right, so there's Falkirk Grahamston. Click that. No fares available. You cannot get a fare from Falkirk High to Falkirk Grahamston. No, no fares at all. So we're here till uh, just before 3 o'clock and we're going to head into Glasgow Queen Street. On the 385 of course since they're the only units are running on this line now. You used to remember there used to be like 47 with DBS so, uh, Mark 3 coaches or Mark 2s. There, there was um, Class 1's 70s and now it's all electric multiple units.
We're now at uh, Partick Station. This is the furthest west you can go with the Central Scotland Rover. Uh, we're here now. We actually got here a bit earlier than planned. So we're going to be here till four o'clock, and then we're going to go straight to Gower Hill for Partick. We're going to be at Gower Hill earlier. Film at Gower Hill earlier, and we might be go back to Glasgow Queen Street earlier, waiting for the uh, 1840 to arrive, which I'm hoping it is a HST. So we might have to hang around Queen Street for a little bit. We'll see how it goes anyway. This is Gower Hill Station. Now, this is the first time I've actually been to this station, but it's also the last station today we'll actually be filming an hourly station. Because all the rest I think is going to be a bash up to Stirling when we get back to Glasgow Queen Street, hang around Stirling, uh, a quick ride back to Glasgow Queen Street, and then we're going to get to Glasgow Central to get the 2105 to Edinburgh Waverley by uh, the Edinburgh Suburban Line. Now, I'm looking at uh, Gower Hill here and all I can see is housing estates on that side, there's industrial estate in front and more housing estates, so I'm thinking it's just a housing estate area, like a little suburban area. But uh, we're here till quarter past five now because we did actually get here earlier, well 17-18, and we're, like I said, going to head back to Glasgow Queen Street.
What we've done is, is that we're actually back at Falkirk High. Now, I did this to kill some time to ride some 385s that I haven't rode on yet. Now, I'm planning to go back to Glasgow Queen Street on the next train. And at Glasgow Queen Street, about seven... It's actually three-minute connection now. I'm going to get the 1840 to Stirling. I'm hoping that the, that's the HST. The 1740 was a 170, but we'll see anyway. But um, I actually have tweeted Scott Rail to see if there's any HSTs out of Glasgow Central this evening. If there's not, I might do something different. But it won't be going back to Glasgow Queen Street. I made it to um, Stirling. Now, the only reason I actually two things for Stirling is the first reason is because I was hoping to get the HST, but that was disappointing, it did not happen. Secondly, there's just about dolls around the course, so we're going to get some tea here and then go back to Glasgow while eating the McDonald's on the train. We're now 
now at uh, Glasgow Central. As you can see that voyage behind me, which is just somewhere over there, is the 2105 to Edinburgh Waverley, which goes by uh, the Edinburgh Suburban Line. So we're going to jump on that, back to Edinburgh, and then we're going to go from Edinburgh to Edinburgh Park to call it quits, to end the day. We're now on the um, 2105 to Edinburgh Waverley, which only calls at Motherwell, and then goes by the Edinburgh Suburban Line. Fortunately, like I mentioned, this is the only train that does that line. I'm also going on here without a proper ticket because apparently I asked on Twitter in advance before I did this, and they said you could use the uh, Central Scotland Rover on this train, cross country, and it did. It's apparently their staff do accept Rover tickets. But ScotRail turned around and said, no, we don't. They don't. So it's ScotRail services only. So we're going to see if that happens or not. If it doesn't, then I think I've got to lose about ten pounds. Yeah. That's a bit of a money to lose. Anyway, we've got about ten minutes to go before we leave Glasgow. approaching Slateford because uh, this is where it crosses over onto the Edinburgh Suburban Line. So I'm hoping we actually cross over and not go straight on towards Haymarket. Waverley and we've just done the Edinburgh Suburban line which is a huge tick in my book. Well the rarest line to that train only does it. Uh, the Calendary Sleep is now in and there's a 67, oh it's 67013. Just over here. Sleeper. Skip. Alright we'll go back to Edinburgh Park now. We're now at um, Edinburgh Park. Now, before I go back to the hotel to um, finish the day, we're going to do the outro here. Unfortunately, we'll it did not go well, such going to Preston, Pants, and Wallyford because um, um, they cancelled my train out of um, Edinburgh Waverley to get to Preston, Pants, and Wallyford. So, I didn't do those two stations, but I ended up doing Musselburgh instead. Wasn't the idea that I wanted, but I made do of it. Then went to, um, when did I go to after that? 
went back to Waverley. It's been a long day, to be honest. Went back to Waverley. Oh, yeah, went to Gorebridge. That was all right. Um, on the Borders Railway. Then we went to Dalmany. Then we went to Falkirk High. Then I went to Partick. Then I went to Gower Hill. Everything was fine after that. The, the plan was all right. I actually got to party in Gower Hill earlier. But apart from they cancelled my train this morning to Preston Pans and Wallyford, which I couldn't do, everything went smoothly. And we did do the Edinburgh Suburban Line, which took us round from Slateford to Brunstein. So everything went well apart from the morning's plan, which got cancelled. Um, tomorrow, we are going back to England, but uh, I'll explain that later because we're actually not going back home. But um, we are going to be doing a few stations, we are going to be doing New Craig Hall, but I have found out before tomorrow even happens, we will be running into a bit of drama because they have cancelled my train to New Craig Hall. No, out of New Craig Hall, sorry. They cancelled the 0943 out of New Craig Hall already. So we're going to figure out a plan for that because I want to get the tornado passing ECS through there before she leaves there, Waverley. Then um, we're going to be doing Kirk Newton. We've got shots in, but I may change the West Colden because apparently the um, pipe train's running tomorrow to Hartlepool. But when I get to shot, it actually passes a bit later after I arrive, so I might do West Calder to get more time to get it passing through. Then we're going to do Bells Hill, then back to Glasgow, back to Birmingham, and then we're going to Longbridge, which I'll explain why we're going to Longbridge after that. So I'm going to end it now because I want to get back to the hotel. You can subscribe to me at Simon Tracer on Jones on Facebook, Simon Tracer on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for day four of Scotland tomorrow or when it goes up on YouTube.